Hello everyone. In this tutorial, we will see how to rename a table in the database and how to rename a column of a table. First, we will see how to rename a table. Before doing that, let's see the tables we are having in our database. Just run this. You can see we are having faculty and student. These are the two tables we are having in our database. Now let's rename this uh, student table to student table. Alter table student rename it to student table. If you run this, it was changed now. Now let's see the tables we are having. You can see now the tables are student and student table where before it was uh, faculty and student now it was changed to to the name student table next similarly you can change it back to the student name student uh, table to student Let's run this. Sorry, rename. Rename. Now, if you see the tables again, it was back renamed to student. Like that, you can uh, rename the any table which you want to rename in your uh, database. Now, we will see how to rename a uh, column's name. That means how to change the name of a attribute. Before that, let's see the columns of our database. Sorry, let's see the columns of our student table. If you run this, we will get the student table. You can see we are having ID, name, date of birth, age, group, mobile number, and address. Let's uh, Try to change this student ID name to student role. For that, like similarly, how you have changed the name of uh, table with the alter table command. Now, alter table student rename column student ID. To the name student role let's run this now let's see again the table you can see now it was changed to student role from student id like that you can change anything let's uh, try to change this also Let's change the attribute student address with the add to address. Just run this and next select the full table again, all the attributes. You can see now it was changed to student address. Here it updated to student role and here it is a student address. Like that you can change uh, name of any attribute which you want to change. That's it for this tutorial. Thank you.